Sarah Langs of MLB.com joining us here in studio, actually remotely, but Stu and I are here in studio. Sarah, thanks for your time and thanks for doing this. Of course, thank you so much for having me. So great to kind of be here. Ex virtually, we'll take it. Uh, you're great on MLB.com, but even better on Twitter. S Langs on sports is the handle. You always put out relevant and like bite-sized information about players and situations, really good perspective. One I want to begin with here is Christian Pache. Now, Stu was saying the other day, I can't believe Pache is hitting only, what, 211 at 11, the time? Yeah, something time. like that. But what you're here to quantify is how well he's been hitting the baseball. What do you have? for us he has so i know the results have not been outstanding so far this year but if you take a look at his hard hit rate so how often he makes contact at 95 plus miles an hour exit velocity he is in the 93rd percentile right now that's really really good and i know that the results aren't there 100 percent right now but that tells us that he's making good contact and that leads to good results and i expect those to even out over the course of the year. But the other things I really wanted to highlight on that graphic are his defense and his speed. I mean, I just think he has been such a fun player to watch for the A's this year. And this is the player that the Braves always expected he would blossom into. You see that passion, and I think you can quantify it by hitting the ball hard, running the bases, and making absolutely great plays in the outfield. Stu, I think what's great about this, there's stats, right? And then there's the eye test. The stats Sarah's given us, they belong to the eye test, right? No, no, no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. When you're hitting the ball hard, yeah. the, the thing that fans miss is when the ball is hard hit and it's an out, as we said, you know, he's hitting 211. I'm right. saying, man, what's going on with Didn't him? Didn't feel right, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. when you see that he's hitting the ball hard, right. if you're watching every game, if you're the fan that's not watching the game and you just see yeah. batting average, then you think, man, this guy's not doing very much. Yeah, and if you're hitting the ball hard, that batting average will come with it, I think, too. All right, um, Sarah, so let's talk about Chad Pender. Last game against the Giants, and I think the A's as a franchise, going back to Philadelphia, they've played almost like 20,000 total games in like 100-plus years, but for the first time, ever in franchise history Chad Pinder leads off the game with a homer that's the only run scored and that's how the A's win but this is also a rarity across Major League Baseball right this doesn't hardly ever happen it very rarely happens so it had only happened six times since 1974 before Chad Pinder did it the other day and talking about franchise history it was also the first time it had happened against the Giants and their franchise history goes back to the 1880s <laughs> so this is being on the road hitting a leadoff home run and not standing up as the only run of the game but I wanted to highlight Chad Pinder because it's not just that one home run that was a really fun statistical oddity but he's another guy who is hitting the ball really hard and that's something we've seen in each of the last two years so he's another guy where i would say you look at the overall results so far and they may not be exactly where fans want them to be but that really does bode well. The only thing on his page that gives me a bit of concern is that rise in strikeout rate. But if that's what you have to sacrifice to really crush the ball, ultimately it's going to lead to good results. And I, I love something that happens for the first time in franchise history <laughs> for a team. So that was such a fun one to track as the innings were winding down in that game. It was an interesting post-game show to do, I'll tell you that as well, too. It never really works out that way.